once a month at the new moon, we have an opportunity to reset our goals and intentions. The new moon in Pisces is March 4th at 3.46 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You'll need to convert that to your own time zone depending on where you live. Pisces is an emotionally based water sign in the mutable modality, which means right now we have access to sensitive, gentle, compassionate, flexible emotional energy. And this is particularly true because we have a large grouping of planets. Half the planets in the zodiac now are in this sign, giving us a blast of Piscean energy. And Neptune, the planet that rules Pisces, is 29 degrees Aquarius now, getting ready to move into Pisces in April. And Uranus is at 29 degrees Pisces, getting ready to move into Aries just a week after this new moon. So we are in a transition period right now, and it's triggering quite a bit of turbulence in the world. Additionally, Chiron has just moved into Pisces, and Chiron is the wounded healer. So it brings things to the surface. And I believe what this new moon offers us is the opportunity to examine the victim archetype energy. And it's within all of us. It just depends on how often it comes to the surface and how frequently we engage in this. Right now we have the opportunity to examine how the victim comes up. What triggers it? What are the behaviors associated within us with the victim energy? And it's perfect now to start healing that because Uranus moving into Aries will support action moving forward, doing something about the problems in our life rather than just suffering or feeling sorry for ourselves or even giving up. So the victim paradigm needs to be examined carefully right now. And it's very powerful. You'll be spiritually supported. Neptune moving into Pisces will support the divine energies flowing through us. And that's the other thing about this new moon. It is time now to examine moving into the flow, operating in life with a sense of harmony, a sense of spiritual grace. Now, some people do that better than others. I have a Scorpio sun and an Aries moon. Sometimes I like swimming against the current. I like the challenge of it. My energy tends to be more challenge-based. So moving into the flow operating with harmony and grace is something I have to learn. Fortunately, I have a teenage son who has five planets in Pisces, and I observe him all the time with harmony, with an easygoing, relaxed, open attitude flowing. And it helps to have somebody as a role model for this. One thing I've learned, when I start to tighten up, I automatically step out of the flow. And so I know immediately it's time to relax and it's time to open. Stepping into the flow means being able to receive. So sometimes I visualize being like a hollow reed, completely surrendering, opening to the universal current. And I focus on the word harmony, moving with harmony, moving with grace. That's what we have to work with this month. Additionally, intuitive awareness is going to open up like crazy, and we're going to see this with Neptune moving into Pisces. Neptune will be in that sign for a long time, and so the intuitive senses are being activated right now. So become more aware of that. Release your resistance and allow it to flow through you. This is a powerful new moon engaging our spirituality at a new level connecting with spiritual grace and unconditional love and moving forward with confidence and kind of a, a high-powered, activated warrior energy on the spiritual level. Enjoy it. Thank you. I'm Kathy Rose.